I'm gonna give you nine things that are extremely important to have in your bow case this outdoor archery season. So from all the knowledge that I've gained from all the years that I've shot professionally and traveled all around the world, I have nine essential things that you must have in your bow case for this outdoor season. Keeping them with you at all times in an easy accessible place, somewhere like your bow case instead of back in your hotel room. In case you need them, having them on hand and in an easily accessible place is gonna make your life a lot easier while you're shooting and it won't be so distracting when you really need things in an emergency situation. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jake Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery. I'm working to make this channel a great resource for all types of archery, including form stuff, tuning stuff, as well as physical training, and now some extra videos to help you be a better archer in the sport of archery. So if you're serious about archery, hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded. I'm pumping out tons of content lately and you don't want to miss out on anything coming out. You're watching the Jake Kaminsky YouTube channel. Now, I do have a fair bit of experience traveling the world. I've been traveling the world professionally since around 2006, full-time, indoors and outdoor seasons, field archery, uh, in cold climates, warm climates, you name it, I've been there. So from those years of experience, I have a lot of things that I can give you that you need to have on hand with you so that way you're prepared in case anything were to come up from rain to bugs to heat, uh, you name it, um, I'll have you covered in this video. So the nine things that I'm going to give you are not necessarily an all-inclusive list of everything you need to have in your bow case. This is just some extra added above and beyond things that some people don't think about or some people wish they had once they see somebody else using it. So these are the type of things that I wish people would have told me in the beginning to have on hand to be prepared uh, because ultimately now that I've had them and I've traveled around with them, ultimately it just makes my life so much easier shooting archery or when I did compete with archery rather. So I'm just gonna help you along the way to not have the same growing pains that I did. Before I tell you what you need, I'll let you know that all of the things that I'm going to be covering in this video, I'll have links in the description below on where you can get those. And disclaimer, those are Amazon affiliate links. So just so you know, I do receive a percentage of those sales as an advertiser or an affiliate through Amazon. Even if you're buying your standard Amazon shopping within 24 hours of clicking that link, I get a percentage of that. So you're helping this channel by doing nothing else other than clicking on those links and continuing your normal Amazon shopping for the next 24 hours. And it does make a big difference for me to be able to continue doing this channel full time and producing free content for you to enjoy. The first thing that I recommend having in your bow case is going to help make things so much more comfortable for you throughout the year, no matter the conditions. And these are not glamorous, but they work amazing and they are shoe covers or boot covers. So all you do is you slip your foot inside of them and then zip them up over your existing shoes. They're completely waterproof. These are just made out of like neoprene rubber or something along those lines and they're extremely cheap, and you can have waterproof shoes and boots instead on hand, but these are so much cheaper, and I, if you're like me, I'm very particular in the footwear that I'm using while I'm shooting, so going and finding a pair of waterproof shoes that are in excess of $100 or boots, even worse, it's just not the same feeling that I have in my sneakers. I really don't want the change in footwear to affect the way I feel, so just slipping these on doesn't at all affect the way that my shoes feel. Now, these are great for not only uh, shooting in the rain, but also anywhere that there's dew in the morning on the grass field. You know, there's nothing worse than starting the day out after you've freshly showered, you're ready to go, you're ready to have the best tournament of your life, and then you walk out on the field and it's sopping wet from dew or rain the night before, and now your shoes are soaking wet, and you have to compete the whole rest of the day with soaking wet shoes, and that's never fun. The second thing that I recommend that you must have on hand with you, not necessarily in your bow case, but at least with you at the range, is a Yeti or a Hydro Flask. Now these things aren't exactly cheap, but because they keep liquids cool for forever basically, they just provide you an advantage that not everybody else has on the range, especially if there's limited availability of water on the field. Um, I love this half gallon Yeti. It looks massive, and you may think that it's a bit excessive, but I'll tell you, I felt the same way until I actually had one and realized I don't have to go get water nearly as often. Um, but a, a quick tip on these, it's really nice to have this extra lid on top so that way you're getting water through a small area instead of this really large area. Because if you're like me, I like to pack a lot of ice in here and have ice cold water with me, especially on those hot days. 
And when you go to sip from this, ice falls out and it splashes all over you. Whereas this mouthpiece makes it so much cleaner and nicer and easier to use. And it still doubles as your handle. The third thing to have on hand with you at every archery tournament available to you in your bow case is a cooling towel. So these cooling towels, these are the cheaper ones that have these little beads inside of them that swell up once they get water on them. Uh, they do make these other things, I, I think they're called chilling towels. So if you're from a, a colder environment and you're going and traveling to a really hot tournament, you may need to have those on hand in case you're not used to the heat. The fourth thing that you need to have on hand, and this is specific to recurve archers, is you need to have desiccant. Now this is a jug of desiccant, um, but they do make these really nice little Ziploc bags that you can put uh, your tab inside of after you have been shooting in the rain all day. You know, some days you really just cannot get away with uh, avoiding getting your tab wet, especially if it's downpouring or raining the entire day. So, and, and nothing affects your tune and your performance and your sight marks more than a soaking wet tab. It's really difficult to dry them out overnight. Sometimes just putting them on your air conditioner isn't enough, especially if it's been pouring all day long. So there's these really nice pouches that are used for electronic rescue. So like if you drop your phone in some water or something like that and you need to dry it out quickly and hopefully not get it damaged, all you got to do is you tear it open, you throw your tab inside, zip it up, and overnight your tab is going to be super dry. This is definitely something that I wish was around when I was shooting in the earlier years. Uh, because let's be honest, when you're shooting outside, you really can't avoid the rain or avoid your tab getting wet. The fifth thing that every archer needs in their bow case is some extra super glue or some extra fletching glue. There's a lot of things you can do with super glue. You can glue down knocking points. You can fix uh, serving that's coming untied. You can tie down some veins in case they're coming off things like that. A lot of people I see don't carry super glue. They go around the field asking some people for some super glue and you know it's just a, it's a headache. You know if you have it on hand you don't even have to worry about it and it doesn't weigh anything, doesn't take up nearly any space. Just throw it inside your case. I would put it inside a Ziploc bag or something like that in case it were to burst because uh, you don't want super glue all over everything in your case. The next thing that you have to have on hand in your bow case is some extra strings or some extra parts. I carry a whole bunch of extra strings with me that are set up for different bows and different string materials and different colors. So whatever I'm shooting that year, I can just grab one, throw it on a bow in case something were to go wrong and I'm good to go. You can also use these type of little wedges and boxes that come with some of the soft cases or that you can buy an extra. Um, and ultimately just pack them full of all sorts of extra equipment like knocks, maybe some glue, maybe your fletching glue, things like that, uh, hot melt glue, things like that to really just have on hand in case something were to go wrong. Many, many times do things happen that you don't plan for. And having everything at your fingertips is just going to reduce stress when things do happen. The next thing that I recommend having in your bow case is a fiber optic pin. This is another thing that's more specific to recurve um, because... Let's be honest, at least in USA Archery, we get delayed a whole lot because of rain delays. And many times you end up having to shoot under stadium lights. And if you're not used to shooting a sight with a fiber optic pin in it, or you normally don't do so, many people with a regular uh, sight pin will lose their pin in stadium lighting. They won't be able to see it. So having a nice little wedge like this with not only fiber optics, but different color fiber optics. Like this is an orange one, here's a green one, here's a red one. And then ultimately you can have a little area where you keep a whole lot of extra sight pins with different types. So a lot of these are all glass ones without actual fiber optics, but I do have a whole lot of lenses and uh, sight pins on hand or the different fiber optics for when I need a different color for something like that happening where you're shooting under stadium light. This is the AAE gold sight pin. It holds fiber optics, you can change the colors, and there's been several tournaments where many of my competitors were complaining of not being able to see their sight pins because of the stadium lighting, and I ended up beating them uh, because I could still see my sight pin with my fiber optics. So this is absolutely something that will give you a competitive advantage if you need it. Now, the eighth thing that you need in your bow case is going to be a bit funny. It's gonna seem like, really, that really works, but it does, is you need to have a vanilla body spray. Now, why would I recommend you have vanilla fantasy body spray or the cheapest vanilla body spray that you can find? Well, there's a lot of tournaments that are held in areas that have a lot of bugs. And the worst bugs to shoot around are gnats, those tiny, tiny little bugs that sometimes bite you, but usually they just try to fly in your eyes and in your mouth. And while you're at full draw trying to shoot a shot and having something fly in your eyeball is not exactly fun and it's very distracting. So you can use something <laughs> 
just as simple as vanilla body spray. The cheapest, grossest smelling vanilla spray works great. Uh, some people have used dryer sheets or actually mixing up uh, vanilla extract and alcohol and spraying it on them, but vanilla extract stains. So using the vanilla body sprays actually won't stain your clothes and um, they work phenomenal. So all I do is I spray a spray or two on my hat, maybe on my chest, um, maybe on my ankles if they're biting my ankles or something like that. And it really keeps the gnats away. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a trick that I got when I was up in the South Dakota area in Yankton um, because the gnats up there are awful and the, really the only way to get rid of them was to mask your CO plume, so your breath. The exhaust that you breathe out of your mouth attracts those tiny bugs and by spraying the vanilla spray on you, it masks it so they don't know where you are and they don't bother you, but they'll bother everybody else. And the last thing to have on hand in your bow case is kind of a given that you should have, but it's just, you know, kind of a, uh, a public service announcement, have some sunscreen on hand. Um, I had a, I lost a sister to sun cancer and uh, we take it serious in my family and you really should. So I really highly suggest carrying some sunscreen on hand. You know, there's many different types. I prefer the natural sunscreen that has the, uh, what is it here? It has the titanium dioxide, which is that white stuff. It's the old school sunscreen. Um, I prefer that. I don't care what I look like. I just want to protect myself from the rays and uh, using something natural instead of something that's inorganic on my skin. I feel better about it. And, uh, you know, I really think if you're going to be out in the sun, you should take your skin care seriously. Thanks for watching. And thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter or check out books, apparel, and some seminar info, head to jkaminski.com. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you again.